Luke 12, 48. My father moved out here to the Pyramid Temple, so I thought I'd tell a little story. It's just a story, you know. Stories are, are always not true, right? And for the same reason the atheists believe the uh, Bible is not true, is the same reason this story uh, must not be true, right? Again, this is a question that's being posed. I'm not saying that. I always tell the truth. Okay. My father moved out here, and we've always argued about living out here. And I've always wondered why he wouldn't budge. First, it was the asthma that got us out here. Then he invested so much in San Jose. Millions. Right? And I don't really know. Everyone says it's true, so I assume it's true. It's probably true. And that's what Masons do. They give. Right? He might have given to the Masons, and they might have given. I don't know. But that's how the story goes. He moves out the pyramid-shaped mountain. You, as you're driving up, you see this huge pyramid-shaped mountain. And it's the type of thing that would appeal to someone who's religious, especially a Masonic type. Of course, my mom, her favorite um, relative was my great-grandfather on her side. And her grandfather fought in World War II, and his wife, my grandma, stayed here. Uh, and, you know, she uh, sticks up for Masons. And she and my mom have both been tears in her eyes arguing with me. My dad's tears in his eyes like he doesn't know what to do. He knows that I'm right on some level, but he's going to do their well no matter what. So he's a good guy, like many people working for him. People who like my little brother and my dad. And I seen this one guy today at the club, and I forgive him. I know you meant no offense to me, and you people aren't stupid enough to insult the Nigerian drug cartel. And I'm not a part of that. And I got carried away, you know, because I was trying to get through your heads that insulting Nigerians was not a good idea. But most of my friendly. And they wouldn't approve of how I behave, so I apologize. Now, now that we got that out of the way, <clears throat> think of Ham, Shem, Japheth. Think of Herod killing kids. Think of Apep killing kids. Think of 1 Peter 5, 8, whom he may devour, especially the kids, right? The lion, the devil, lion, roaring about. Right? How, does, how do cops drive around looking for black people? You know? How did the KKK, you know, riding, <laughs> looking for black people? Were they like a nice person? coming to bring black people to God or are they a bunch of white racist occultists using doing ritual murder on black people well I'm here to tell you I know for sure that they are occultists started by the Masons there are certain places that are significant Tennessee look up Memphis and Tennessee and Memphis and the relevance in Egypt I'm not gonna give you all the answers in this field I want to make it short that's a long story okay but to give you the gist of it, these people are occultists. They believe, whether it's true or not, I believe it's true. I know it's true. But I want to get, get that through your head. They believe they are killing the descendants of Judah in Africa for the same reason I explained to you, that Africa, the ideal person of God, is, is you know, the ideal material for the, the pyramid of God's temple. The ideal capstone, the leaders are black and uh, um, Afri you know, and, and Asiatic, you know, Middle Asia, Hittites, Semitics. Okay, it's, it's a very mixed, someone like me would probably maybe even mix more than me, okay, but who's related to Judah, all right? So when you go to the 33 tribes of Ebo and you look at why did they bring so many Ebo? Because they knew this back then, and they have the records. They took our names because they did not want us to know who we are. The black Israelites are correct, but the problem is many of them are there to co-opt the movement. I do believe that some of them um, may have been the truth, and I do believe there are snakes in their midst. I don't know who's who. I don't know if you're all bad. I don't know. But brothers, I must warn you, there are snakes in all of our midst, vipers, and they are out to get us with a viciousness and you need to train martial arts you need to train your focus you need to train war and you need to understand the principles that i tell you whether you're big and strong or short fight like a falcon defeat the snakes save our children from apep i beg you i swear on my ancestors i am a man of god and what i'm saying is true ham shem and japheth if god was to restart the cycle you would have noah ham shem and japheth okay to symbolize the Chuku Skywalker, someone with a name, an Igbo name, would name his son the same thing. And his middle son would be Shem, his older son, Ham, and his younger son, Japheth. My older brother has been always more savvy with black people than my little brother on a level of being a businessman. And black people are business-minded about their money. 
my little brother, and this is, I don't, you know, I don't know if this is psychology for train this way. My dad started, you know, he did send us to boarding school. He sent me to reform school. Yes, we were conditioned this way to a certain degree. I don't know if this is all conditioning or if this is God, you know, fighting a war right here. And if I was to, you know, I'm inclined to believe it is. But as a scientist and your pharaoh, I, it's my duty to, to present you every perspective as my ancient Egyptians and African ancestors did. So I don't know as a scientist, but I know as a martial artist and as a man of God. This is really a holy war right here. And I know many of you are scared and you want to value your money and you want to give me conditions. There, You do not give God conditions. God works through the pyramid. The pyramid represents a order, a mayat. And the Jews understood that well. Moses understood that well. Joseph understood that well. In fact, well, he was in a dry well, as opposed to where he went, where it was the water, the Afro-Asiatic bloodline of God that these white racist masons have always claimed was Northern European or something. The Roman, the imposter, the children of Satan. Look up Christian identity. The royal family are claiming that they're the Jews. And of course, the white Jews claim that they're the Jews. And some black Jews are helping them do it because not all black people are good. Not all of Judah is good. Not all of Israel is good. My friends, I know you do not believe me. I wish I could say it in a way that you would fucking believe me. I know, excuse me, I know that at least some of you won't believe me, you know, because I know how these things play out, right? I'm not 100% sure, but, you, you know. Okay, look, these guys mean fucking business, and this is fucking war. And I love you all, and we have to beat them. Some of you want to wait till Jesus comes back. Some of you know that if we do that, then Jesus has a very good reason to come back. I now, as your prince, order you to resist them, mind, body, and soul. We must separate. You can ignore my order and say, I don't believe you. Or you can search your heart and say, am I relaying an order from God? I'm not ordering you like a military guy. I'm not ordering you like a priest. I'm not ordering you as a martial artist. I'm ordering you as all three. Imagine the temple filled up with Ra's representatives and everyone. You think they would dare say something to me? I am your pharaoh. I was trained by the best from other races and then I cultivated my own African martial arts. None of you can beat me. Sit down and respect me. You think a non-martial artist could do that? Imagine Bill Gates saying that to a straight killer. What's gonna stop him from killing everyone in the room and then killing him? Narmer was the greatest warrior. Transferable skills. Remember, Luke, uh, the, the Luke scripture, I'll put in the, um, I think it was Luke 14, 48 or something. I'll put it in the comments, okay? It says, you know, that you hit, you punish them with blows. The leopard society punished them with blows. There was headhunters established. Why did they? Why were they so serious about establishing headhunters? And why were they so good at martial arts? They they overthrew. They won the battles in Haiti, and 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 the, they won the Irish's respect to the point where the Irish said, you know, we're gonna kind of bring you in, but we're still with the New World Order. Don't get us wrong. Some niggas said, oh, it's okay, we're from the Temple of Set anyway. All these people have been around for people like me. Okay, another way to put this, at the risk of sounding corny in Hollywood, but this is America. They are the double crossers. They are the nine. Okay, this is like Tears of the Sun, but it wasn't just the Muslims looking for it. It was all the occultists looking for him. And here I am. They didn't know where he was going to be and when. They kind of calculated around now. Something to do with this change of the ages. You know, I am not Jesus. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a saint. Okay. Jesus is going to come back in the sky. These people are scientific Satanists. They believe Jesus is going to come back in the flesh. They're natural deists and pantheists and bitch shit like that. Excuse me. Okay. They believe that Jesus is going to come back in the flesh. Okay. And that the Antichrist is going to come back among them and they wish to give him the upper hand. Now, don't ask me why anyone is stupid enough to believe this is true, you know, and, and to take that action. And don't ask me how anyone is stupid enough to think that a story that you must understand from an Afro-Asiatic perspective in a Greco-Roman Babylon system that, wants, that forces you to think white has ever been proven wrong without even looking at it with the correct lens. Not even looking at it from the right angle, which is Horace's angle. Horace represents all the perspectives. And once you do that, you're forced to say, hey, look, this they must be African. 
Okay, let's say, let's say they started from here. Who are the Jews? Let's say they started from here. Boom, 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 boom. Where do they come from? They're Africans. The Garden of Eden is in Africa. You know, that's why they keep going back to Egypt. Joseph, the, you know, the Jews in captivity. Abraham, you know, uh, uh, Jesus. This is a ritual murder with plausible deniability. And the new conditioning, you know, the new re-education, re-education camps and facilities like the communist ones come from masonry. Look up Marx and everything. Look up masonry. Who were the, the French and then were pushing communism with the Ashkenazi German allies and the Russians, the Red Army, the Tsar Nicholas. Why do you think they went after Tsar Nicholas? He might not have been from the tribe of Judah, but he was certainly a good man that didn't want to take any shit from the illegitimate snakes trying to take him his power, take his power away. Man, these guys are dogs. It is, this is true. I promise you, brothers. I'm not trying to just glorify myself. That's why I put my martial art challenge out there too. You know, I said, at least maybe if they can at least see what I'm talking about through the warfare of the Black Fist of Judah that they'll see. That I am the top martial artist. You're all going to die, your kids and everyone, because you didn't take my side. You didn't take God's side in an ancient struggle between good and evil. I'm sorry to tell you, but it is my sacred duty to tell you. Farewell. When I die, I will probably see very few of you, and it saddens me. Please turn to God and repent. I am at the mountain, the pyramid temple. I am a falcon. I am against the new world order, and I have told you the truth to the best of my ability. Every once in a while, I might have felt embarrassed, or there was a good reason not to highlight something, but I gave you the truth to the best of my ability. And this is the truth. I know it. They are not as insightful as I am. You can't beat me. This is the truth. Go to God. And Judah, beware. They already know. There's no trying to cover up anything. There's no secret society. You have to come together. Preserve what is left. One last Kushite push. As you see fit. Keep the true succession going. Don't let the Masons and them usurp the rightful blood. And don't let them control the movement to security.